Hello creators. How are you? I hope you are doing good. Today I am back with a crazy tutorial. Let's have a preview. To make this effects you need a plugins called Newton for After Effects. I will put download link in the description. Now let's jump into our tutorial. Open After Effects. Import your footage. Don't worry, it's very much easier than you think. Make composition from it. Search for Mocha A in Effects and Presets panel. Apply it in your video footage. Click the Mocha logo to open it. Now it's time to track your video footage. Select Zoom tool adjust your position where you want to track. Select Spline Layer tool. And create masks. Click on Show Planar Surface and adjust it with the position of your mask. Now go to the down corner and increases the value of minimum pixels used. Also don't forget to check the perspective box. Now hit track for. Now our tracking is done perfectly. Save your tracking data just by clicking on save icon and close the mocha. Now duplicate your video layer and rename it Freeze Frame. Right click on Freeze Frame layer, go to Time and hit Freeze Frame. Again right click and pre-compose it and move all the attributes into the new composition. Open Freeze Composition and remove Mocha from it. Now make a mask in it. Now go to our main composition, right click and new null object. In main video layer go to Mocha, create tracking data and hit OK and export it in our null object. Now go inside freeze frame composition, apply fill from effects and preset. Now select the freeze frame layer, and parent to the null object. Check our tracking mask, it's perfectly tracked with our null object. Now go inside our freeze frame composition and delete the fill. Now it's time to export our composition into PSD format, just by going to the option composition and save frame as file. Now open Illustrator. Open PSD file. Go to Window and select Image Trace option. Click on Image, check the Preview box and click OK. Now set View option and Outlines with Image Source. From Image Tracer, adjust your trace by playing with values, Now go to the object, image trace and hit expand. Now delete unwanted layer. Select all the layer and ungroup it. Now by selecting all the layers press Ctrl plus C to copy it. Go to After Effects and paste it in the freeze frame layer. Open all the mask and make add to wall. Adjust the mask in the position.
Now select our mask one and using pen tool, add new a mask path, and uncheck the close option. Now just go to the composition option, select Newton, and hit the separate, and close Newton for now. Rename all and delete unwanted mask. Now open Photoshop, and open our PSD file to remove text. Clean all the text using Content Aware. Now save as new file. Open After Effects and drag this into our freeze frame composition. If necessary, hit the guest box. And hide the layer for a while. Now it's time to play Open Newton. Select our border layer and make it static or use shortcut S. Set English alphabets to dormant, and leave other alphabets to dynamic. And if you hit play, you can see the R alphabets how they reacting with the gravity. Let's increase the values of our magnitude, also the solver value. Now let's animate our text, using capture option in right hand corner. When it's finished, hit the Apply option, and click Render. Close the Newton and you will see a new composition in project. Open it and hide the border layer, and unhide the PSD layer. It's perfectly working, but as you see our exposure of PSD layers don't match with the animated text, so we can affix it, go to presets and effects and search for lumetri color, and apply it in our PSD layer, and increase the exposure to match it. Go to project, and replace the new composition in main comp, which is created by new tone and hide the old one. Also parent with null object. And it's done. Our video is ready. Let's render it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to support me, by like share and subscribe, and stay innovative.